All right, guys, this is Doc M. And as you all know, last week I got invited by Ubisoft again to check out Far Cry 4. And it was a pretty awesome event. You know, I did a vlog if you want to check it out and see the location. Pretty cool. But yeah, we got a chance to play um, co op and single player for about three to four hours, maybe one hour of co op. And yeah, I got some footage here. First of all, you saw, I mean, some elephant rampage. You know that already if you've seen some Far Cry 4 footage before. But we want to look at more stuff. We could basically freely play the game. It was almost the final build. There were some tiny, you know, glitches and stuff here and there. But it's obvious when it's not the final build yet. But it ran smoothly. We played on PlayStation 4 and this is what you can see here. So let's, let's look at the skill tree here, for example. Um, we got two sides. We got the tiger and the elephant. The tiger um, is more on the offensive side, you know. Um, you can see different skills. If you, I scroll through them here, if you want to uh, read exactly what they do, you can slow down the video, pause it and read up a bit. But uh, just for a kind of a basic orientation, on the left side there is more offensive skills, different uh, takedowns and things that help you in your combat attacking. And on the other hand, the elephant, well, that's things like rhino skin, more health, better use of syringes and stuff like that, you know. So you have uh, better defense, can take more bullets and um, stuff like that. So defense and offense. What I realized though, after about 3-4 hours of playing, about that, I had about 80% of all these skills uh, unlocked already on both sides. Which kind of left me thinking, hmm, maybe it becomes a bit grindy later down the road if you get all the upgrades quite early in the game. So here are the other upgrades for your character. Obviously the things you know from Far Cry 3 in general, you know, uh, it didn't change much. There's a new setting, new animals, but it is a true Far Cry. The gameplay feeling was the same. And yeah, explosives bag, you know, throwable bag, ammo bag. There is a bait bag, which is kind of a new feature. You can use chunks of meat to toss into camps or whatever and, you know, lure lions and, and, and wolves there, which helps a lot. Here um, I show you the grappling hook. It's also pretty decent. I was hoping you could use the grappling hook freely all around the world, um, but it is sadly not the case. The reason for it being, according to the creative director, with whom I did an interview, I will also upload, um, it is because people would abuse it or use it to get out of the map probably, and that is a problem. Uh, because yeah, uh, at some point the map stops and they don't want people to get out of the map. That is kind of um, yeah the kind of the reason for the grappling hook being a bit stationary. Still, nevertheless, it's kind of useful. Uh, there's uh, quite frequent grappling hook th thingies, you know, where you can hook up because it's a really mountainy area, and using your vehicles. It's definitely something that helps you and yeah, you find nice shortcuts here with the grappling hook. You basically hold down right trigger button and then you can pull yourself up there, which is quite useful, I have to say. So uh, one thing, um, there's a new animal, the eagle, which is pretty badass. <laughs> Look at that thing. Uh, I sliced him here. Um, I had to find out how to deal with these things. The uh, best thing is, uh, you know, you just when he attacks you, you slice him with a knife. But they're gigantic. And they can pick up whole sheep and whatnot and carry them away. And yeah, you can of course loot him and get some feathers from him. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, they're really annoying. All of a sudden you, you know, try to sneak up and um, then freaking eagle attacks out of nowhere. I was hoping maybe they could reduce the frequency of these eagle attacks a bit. But maybe I was just unlucky. Here is the hang glider. Um, we know that also from previous Far Cry titles. And I took a chance here to just uh, fly around a bit and look at the landscape a bit more so get you get a good impression how everything looks. And yeah, they pretty much uh, replicated this yeah, Tibet style, you know, Asian touch um, world there. And it's definitely a cool setting. It's a fresh setting. Um, interesting characters. I don't want to spoil anything from the um, yeah, storyline here for you, but I can tell you um, it is, as we kind of know from Far Cry, pretty far out, uh, crazy characters, what I've seen so far in the storyline. 
The map is huge. Uh, it's the same size um, according to the creative director than the old map. But it's way more loaded with a lot of action, a lot of things you can collect. It's pretty crazy in here. <laughs> we go for a little crash landing in the trees with our glider. But yeah, the environment is really foresty and bushy and um, quite nice, quite nicely done. There, you quickly saw it, the hun uh, um, guns for hire feature. It's also a pretty neat feature. Um, you can hire other guys, you know, you help them out all over the map and then they become friendly and you can get them to, you know, storm outposts and stuff, which is pretty cool. Kind of like Assassin's Creed, you know, the Brotherhood, but it didn't feel so OP. Um, was a nice addition. So here we have a rhino. It's another one of the animals around. Pretty beastly thing. I'm shooting it here with my small yeah, automatic gun. It doesn't really uh, do much and yeah, he comes in and tramples. So quite devastating. Um, those beasts and yeah, if you unleash them on, on some enemies it can be quite a bad experience. You see that thing is relentlessly trampling and attacking me. I retreat here on this car. Holy crap, it was a bit um, tricky. Um, kind of, uh, when you take damage, you kind of wobbly and stuff a bit. It's kind of a nice effect I had there. And I'm <laughs> shooting some more bullets in his butt. And now the thing runs and it's going away. And I really wanted to find out how many bullets can this, this freaking rhino take, man. And yeah, I kind of go after it a bit and ding it a bit more with my mini pistol here. And... <laughs> Checking it out. Um, I deliberately uh, didn't upgrade my weapons early. Um, kind of uh, have a sequence where I liberate a camp with a bit of underpowered weapons so you can see a bit of fight action when you're not using the sniper because as usual, Far Cry uh, Silent Sniper is the ultimate weapon. Aside of the bow, which can also be upgraded nicely, you know, with uh, explosive ammo and all the good stuff. So yeah, Rhino, I left it go. Here is another one of the new animals, which is kind of cool, swimming around and I was waiting for it. Here we go, tiger fish. That's the crocodile now. Hey man, I was screaming quite a bit. We couldn't record the, our mic sound there, but <laughs> that thing spooks you out and you have to react rather quickly um, yeah, to get rid of it. Um, but um, it's not lethal and you can definitely get rid of it. It's just more like a shocker moment. Here, um, I jump on one of the quads, you know, there's dozens and dozens of vehicles around all over the place and you definitely need them more because running around is kind of annoying as it is all hilly and the left you could see some some coyotes coyotes you can see all these steep cliffs there you know really not can climb up there so it sometimes feels a bit I don't know you know you say ah man I want to get up there and there was this cliff and you can't and you have to go around so it's hilly so use the vehicles here I used the car to or this vehicle to check out the auto drive feature that was on the console you basically control the whole vehicle with your left stick you know braking and accelerating which feels uh, wonky and I didn't like so much um, I just like the cl uh, classic style more you know where you just use your trigger buttons to accelerate um, just felt felt better to do and here we can see an eagle attack <laughs> again that thing is huge, and yeah, those guys use their AK to get rid of the threat. <laughs> but yeah, you see quite a lot of eagles. So here, um, now we can see a um, decent fight sequence. Um, and I also take the cryocopter here. Um, this is a new vehicle, which is also really, really useful. In co-op play, you can actually, um, yeah, use the grapple hook to attach yourself to the cryocopter then kind of bail with your buddy which is kind of cool it's a nice thing tried that out and yeah, i got some footage of that hopefully as well i need to browse through it but i think we checked it out so here basically using the cryocopter to get to the destination and um yeah useful useful little thing kind of wonky you know like how it should be actually uh, but yeah it's a fun little machine, definitely useful. You can also hover. You know, I didn't do it here, but it's quite useful to hover above the target and then use your camera and so on, you know, to spot some enemies. And here's a uh, guns for hire uh, feature again. You get tokens by helping people out uh, over the map, all over the map. And 
then you could potentially hire them and help you taking out these encampments. I didn't do it here. I just wanted to go in with my relatively underpowered weapon or weak weapons, just a handgun and a little Uzi there and see if I could blast my way into the camp. This is not a silent approach. I mean, you've seen it all over. Um, I go in all guns blazing. And the key feature is here is the alarm. You take that out real quick. And now they cannot um, go for reinforcements. And now we go, we go crazy in there, uh, shooting from all angles. Um, I would assume with PC you can play uh, more precise, of course. You know, it's a controller, but still, um, I think I did a pretty decent job here with the gunplay. I mean, it's gameplay doesn't suck, thankfully. I practiced, I practiced and made sure um, I can handle the console. But still, you're looking forward for PC. Also, the drawing distance and some things that are with coming with a console version. Yeah, it's really sad. I was hoping. You know, the new console rules would now bring us to the next level, but they're actually bottlenecking uh, really badly at the moment. And yeah, it looked great already, looking good, as you can see here in the recorded footage. Uh, everything looks pretty good, but PC should look even more, more cool, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. So, we swap weapons here. A little AK action. Yep, so explosive barrels. I just want to see if that thing blows up, and it sure did. Well, we took some bu bullets here, head on, but we recover and we kill the last guy. And we liberated that outpost. And as usual then, your troops move in and uh, you can use it for fast traveling then, later down the road, which is really, really cool. So here, grab me another car, um, trying out more driving. The cars um, are really cool, as you can see, lots of detail. Lots of things and you really have this yeah, feeling they wanted to bring across Tibet style and you have a guy rambling all the time here. You know, I aim from the car, which is also pretty decent and I got me a sniper here. I definitely wanted to show you a little bit of sniper action too. So here's one of these situations, you know, um, guy, guys took some guys hostage and you could free them and uh, they would later on then, you know, help you because you got good karma and you could those are the higher for um, guns for higher people you know that would support you then as i said there is a ton of things and activities all over the map it's really clustered almost with a lot of things so here you can see op sniper power they can't hear where i'm shooting from and i'm just dinging them with one headshot after the other and yeah that solves most problems in this game quite easily so, yeah, hostages rescued, no problem, sniped them here, everybody happy. My hero. Yeah, Thank I'm you. the hero. <laughs> so, yeah, you can loot them, of course, for money and all kinds of things, which you carry around in your loot bag. And here, I, uh, to, end it, to end it, I want to show you a tiger. It's also a pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty cool beast. Um, yeah, but the sniper will make, uh, yeah... <laughs> yeah, boom, and he's done. But I wanted to show you the animations, and it's pretty cool. You can use the tigers nicely, you know. I throw some uh, meat at his head, as you saw. That's the bait, and you could use it to lure, um, lure him in and attack enemy camps. So pretty decent. Well, I'd say we wrap it up. Um, I got a little cutscene for you guys here in the end, so you can check out cutscene quality as well. We'll dim the sound a bit so you don't get no spoilers, but that's just one of the crazy characters you meet here in Far Cry 4. And I have to say, I had a good time, I had a good time. The game played like Far Cry. I can definitely say that. Um, you know, if you played Far Cry 3, um, you will feel at home, but there's some new twists and small little elements to it that kind of um, are fun. You know, and adding a new layer without, you know, really making it a brand new game. And you say, hey, this is something completely else. It still has the Far Cry feeling. There's lots of hunting going on. There's lots of crazy characters. There's lots of sniper action. Lots of liberating camps. Lots of eagles. <laughs> That's for sure. So, I'd say it's going to be good. Um, you know, I cannot really give you a review here. I played three or four hours of single player. When you enjoyed Far Cry 3, you'd probably enjoy Far Cry 4 too. 
Um, that's all I can say so far. I definitely give it a shot myself. Not sure if I will do a let's play about it. Depends a bit if you guys like it. Bro fist here in the end. <laughs> we are not PewDiePie. We are dog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. There is more footage of co-op and also an interview of the creative director. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next video. I'm out. Bye guys.